Hey, Total Gym Golfers, let's get right into a great circuit on your Total Gym to improve your golf game. So we're gonna focus on legs, core strength, stability and endurance, and flexibility and form strength. The first one is gonna be a warm up. Got it at the highest level, and I'm gonna go into what's called a figure four stretch, add a little um, assistance here, and do a nice deep squat. So I'm gonna warm up this leg, and by doing this figure four stretch, I'm getting a nice stretch through the rotators of the hip. Okay, so lots to show you here. So pretend I did that on the other leg. I do about 10 on each side. Then, right from the Pilates repertoire, great core exercise, still working the legs. Gonna relax the head down and come down to a 90 degree angle. Really focus on one vertebrae at a time. Peels off the glide board lift as high as I can, squeeze through everything, and then lay the spine down one vertebrae at a time. So it's down, articulate the spine slowly up, and up, and articulate the spine one vertebrae from the top all the way to the bottom. Again, I do about 10 of those. Then, the leg drive in, in golf is all about power. So a powerful move on here is good old single leg plyometrics. So, I'm just going to rock those plyometrics, single leg, so I really get warmed up and the blood going. I'm going to go to fatigue on each leg, which would probably be about 10 to 12, so stay within that range. Next, I'm going to pull off the squat stand. And again, another great core exercise, stretching the hamstrings. I'm gonna go out into a plank, squeeze the buttock, lift the leg, one push up, put the foot down, and then back into a yoga downward dog. So I'm stretching all the way through the back side. Other side, out, squeeze the left buttock. So holding that plank, I'm strengthening all through the upper back, mid back, and all through the core, and then into my stretch. Okay, I'm gonna make the, change the machine down a little bit lower and hook up the cable system. Next in the circuit, let's add some strength and flexibility to the rotation of the golf swing. So I'm gonna grab my handle, anchor in for safety. And a couple of things, I'm gonna start with the handle in back so I get a little bit more rotation and flexibility work. And I'm gonna bring my knees as close together as I can so I'm gonna challenge my balance proprioception and core and then I'm going to create that triangle with my chin my sternum and my thumbs and really focus on rotating as much as I can from above the hips so really try to keep your hips stable just like the golf swing and just focus on those obliques you're getting a lot of stretching through the obliques and the spine. Okay, again, I'm gonna go till fatigue, about 10 repetitions. I'm gonna anchor out to be safe. Now, on the other hand, I have the total gym core grip hooked up. So, a couple of things here. I'm gonna safely anchor in. And we're gonna do this on both sides, but you'll notice this is me playing left-handed here, but it's okay. So, what I'm gonna do is really focus on forearm strength. So not as much rotation, but really focusing on the release of the golf swing. So a lot of times we strengthen the forearms by doing forearm curls. Well, this little device doesn't also gives you the perfect golf grip, but now I'm strengthening those, the wrist joint and all the forearm muscles in a very functional manner. Okay, and then I would repeat both of those on the other side. Final series in the circuit, one of my favorite and my client's favorite accessory, the ab crunch. So, check it out. What I'm gonna do here, I'm in a modified plank, so I'm strengthening all through, again, the upper back, mid back, getting a beautiful stretch through the lower back, so make sure you position yourself so when you pull those knees in, you're getting a full stretch. And then, of course, working the abs in front, but also all the muscles, core muscles in the back, all the muscles that support your spine. So I'm gonna go to fatigue or throw it like 10. Check it out. 
Now I'm gonna go into a really nice hip flexor stretch. I love this. So I'm gonna get that leg fully supported and then lift up through the chest and keep pressing down with the hip. So this is a beautiful stretch through that hip flexor. Again, if you look at the quality that all good golfers have in common, it's incredible flexibility and range of motion. Okay, I would hold that 30 seconds-ish. Then I'm gonna go back <clears throat> to the ab crunch, but this time I'm gonna throw my hips to the side, hold them there so now all the core goodies, the low back stretch is still happening, but I'm getting more focus on the obliques. Woo, I'm starting to feel that already. So go till you feel that heightened awareness. We used to call the burn. And then I'm gonna go into my yummy, yummy, yummy hip flexor stretch on the other side. So the leg is nice and long. I'm gonna lift up through the chest. Really press the hips forward, even give that glute of the leg that's on the glide board a nice squeeze. Hold that 30 seconds-ish, and then I'm going back to my crunch on the other side. Oblique ab crunch. Great little series. Just really enjoy that one. So that's a great workout for you off the course. My golf program is done on the course. It starts with a very intelligent 10 exercise warm-up. They'll get you all ready to go. It takes you less than seven minutes. And then the rest of the program, little stretches and exercises you can do actually while you're on the course. So it comes with a booklet that has all those. For example, my favorite go-to when I'm standing on the tee box watching my three buddies tee off, instead of doing nothing, I show you how to do a really nice rotator cuff stretch. A lot of us have tight rotator cuffs. So that's just an example. I hope you enjoy that. Check out the website below for the video. Have a great golf season and wishing you fairways and greens.